taking from the front. Huh? Enjoy yourself, family. Welcome home, Thank the you. place of happiness. Zonke. You can do shopping, reception, there's this. Reception, the toilets on the right hand side. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. Reception. Hello. Hi.
sikulekile ekhaya Passing the message to the chief. He's greeting you. Respond back to him by saying, Yebo. Yebo. Ninjani is asking how you. You respond by saying, Sia Pila. Sia Pila. Sia Pila. Move to Soto. Yeah, to Soto. Yeah. You can actually rent this for a day or two if you want to stay in this hut. It's beautiful. So, friends, let us kindly greet the family by saying Sani Bonani. Sani Bonani. Yebo! We have two Zulu ladies the married Zulu lady and the unmarried Zulu lady. This is how we identify the unmarried by wearing the bright colorful attire and the short skirt. She is carrying what we call ukamba, the clay pot. They use it to fetch water or to drink their sorghum beer. And once the lady she's married, we identify her in this way. The leather skirt, the figure belt, and the red head. Mm -hmm. Entering to the different villages. Going on, going on. Right, welcome to the Zulu spear making area where they make their weapons. So, before I tell you more, let us greet the warrior over here by saying Saubona. Saubona. Yebo. I like John Kazan and Ekalis and Dabu was a wasu. Don't control Mutos and Soma Vagasha with Sansa and Kalaga Jama or Fagin Papelangi Moka. Jalumaga Kuban Gama to Tempe, Apostle Count to Kalut and Kumogi. Ushaga or Ekonda and Mosetti. And once it's fermented, they will be enjoying their sogam beer. Bujwala, Masi Sutu, only one person. So in this village to get married, a man pays 11 cows plus two horses. Very expensive. The reason why they ate horses it is because of their situation up in the mountains. So they use horses as their sons. The chronicle head. It can represent their mountain. Tabayabu Sidi mountain. Oh, so friends, now so that they can prepare something to eat for the family. After doing that, she's going to kneel down polish the floor with cow dung three times per day. We call that South African mosquito repellent. These are the dried ones. Sometimes they do cook it, putting some onions and tomatoes. High in protein. What form is that? Mubani. High in protein. It's good for men. Just the muscles, all those muscles. Mm -hmm. You want to try? Other stuff. You can't do it. Sana, you want to try? Try one. Sana, try one. Just salt it. Just salt it. Sana, try one. Thank you. Thank you. How are you? You like it? Oh yeah, yeah, heal anything. Smoky, yeah. I like it, it's good. It's very good, eh? Okay. Thank you very much, my brother. <laughs> Part of the experience. Mm. Mm. Okay, but I like it.
there that you saw. We're now going to eat some lunch, traditional food. Okay to take a video? Yes, yes, yes. You're more than welcome. Hot chicken, mushroom, mushroom, mustard. Two hundred yeah he wants to try so Okay. It's crocodile? Yeah. Oh, that's what they said. What does this taste like? Fish? Chicken? It tastes like chicken? Mm. Try one. Hmm. That's a very strong taste. It's called malpua, right? Yeah, we have a um, little bit black, but it's called malpua too. Oh, yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah.